morning to each of you. Welcome to another Friday morning. Um, hope you've had, I hope you've had a good week this week, and um, I just want to thank you again this morning for all the hard work that you've done in your areas this week. Um, this morning I have Meredith here. Um, Meredith works at um, Children's Haven, which is a child care home that is operated by New Horizons Ministries. And um, she'll tell you a little bit about the work that she does and how the thrift store kind of interacts with that. So good morning, Meredith. Welcome to the video this morning. Um, just to start off with, tell us a bit about um, what your work at Children's Haven looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a typical day at daycare usually, um, it's kind of a mix between babysitting, schooling, um, and it's a learning experience for us girls at daycare. A lot of new things that we hit every week and we're not really sure what to deal with. Um, but for the most part, it is pretty even keeled and steady. Um, we care for 22 children throughout a week. Um, and obviously, because we're in-home daycares, they're not all at the same time. Um, we have a licensed house and an unlicensed house. And um, so the licensed house can care for eight a day, and we can care for four, five children a day at our house. Um, and usually the kids get there 7.30 in the morning. They're there till um, 5.30 sometimes. We have some that are there on the dot at 7.30 and some that leave 5.30 on the dot. Um, so it's a long day. Um, you're working with kids and um, some days are harder than others. Some days you leave and you're like ready to go run a marathon and other days you're like mentally exhausted because you're just working with kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we feed the children lunches. Um, they take naps. We do a lot of out time outside playing. I can't talk. Um, we do a good bit of playing outside. Um, we have a little playground there that, that the children love to play with and the houses can come together. That's kind of our time to be together and um, play together. Um, we try to incorporate a lot of um, Bible stories, Bible verses, um, songs about Jesus, and um, just just a lot of yeah biblical teachings that we can throw in there and sneak in and get them to take home with them. Um, yeah, we do some... We do some um, educational things like um, learning. We have books, um, curriculums, and different things we involve in the day, but for the most part, it's playing outside, um, singing songs, and just kind of a lot of one-on-one -on -one interacting, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. So I didn't have this here on the list, but I think it would be helpful to know, uh, how did Children's Haven begin? Like, what was the vision behind starting mm -hmm. it? Because um, if I understand correctly, it's more like a commercial daycare center. Mm -hmm. We're not really m using this time to interact with with kids whose uh, families are suffering or, or experiencing incarceration um, so tell us a little bit about that yeah so the the daycare children's haven was created um, and started for the reintegr reintegration program um, reentry program when moms get out of prison they will have um, child care at children's haven and we have had children when i first started at children's haven we had children whose mothers were incarcerated and um, were out and in our in the New Horizons program there. Um, they did, after, so it was soon after COVID and some of that kind of closed down, we, um, as of now, do not have children yet, possibly looking at getting some it's, um, in the works. I, as of now, we just have community children, it's all community children, um, but it was initially started for the reintegration okay. program, so okay. moms would have childcare. Cool, I don't think I knew that, that's great. Um, yeah. Do you have any stories that you would like to share about some things that have happened or maybe how you've seen um, God at work in in your area? Yeah, we have some interesting, funny stories, some sad stories, and um, just kind of every, every child is different, and so we have some that keep us on our toes all the time, and others that we never really hear anything about or they don't really do anything too exciting. Um, we have, we have a child on oxygen. Um, she was on oxygen. She's not anymore as of yesterday. So we're kind of praising Jesus for that. It was kind of a prayer request. And she just took a lot of extra care. We always had to have obviously two people working if she was there just because someone had to be watching her all the time. And so not really a story, but just kind of something that was exciting in daycare. Mm -hmm. um, but yesterday was the, the first day she's been off. And um, so we're all very excited about that. And it's kind of again, a, a praise. We have, one thing I just want to throw in there, and again, it's not really a story, it's just a little bit more about daycare, but what a big part of what we do is taking care of the parents um, whose children are enrolled at Children's Haven, and that that is obviously including when they're upset, um, when they're happy, and um, recently we've had a parent who was 
fairly upset with something we had done. It wasn't even that big of a deal, but again, it was just, we're the last people they see in the evening. And so if something happened at work, it all comes out over onto us and we get to see all the emotions sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, so it was really interesting to get to work with her and just see how that flipped through the situation and the relationship is now deeper because of it. Um, it's just really rewarding. Also, there was another mom who came in the other day and, and was kind of a mess just with personal situations. So it was a good time to encourage her um, and pray with them and get to share Bible verses. And and um, so yeah, just a lot of times people think of daycare and they think of taking care of just children, but most times it ends up tailing into parents and, and wow. getting to have relationships with them as well. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so, so in what ways does the thrift store help Children's Haven, like mm -hmm. how, how are the two kind of connected? Yep, um, you might not notice or hear too much about the daycare, um, but believe it or not, you guys are a huge part in what I get to do. And yeah, thank you for what you guys are doing because um, without you, it would not be possible to have both daycares up and running. Daycares financially, it's just really tricky um, with legal stuff and some of that other stuff, but most times it's, pretty hard for a daycare to do well financially mm -hmm. by themselves. Um, you can do it, but to have good paid staff um, and just good girls you can rely on and count on, it is hard to find that and to be able to fund it all. And so if there's ever a month where um, things are tight or we're just needing to help out a mom, um, we have some moms who are struggling to financially pay. And because of the work you guys do, we're able to um, take care of her child and also help her out. Um, just with childcare and, and other funds. And so, yeah, thank you guys. That is, that's definitely the way that you guys contribute to what I get to do. Wow, that's amazing. So as we kind of wrap it up, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the thrift store team this morning or? I don't think. Okay. Good luck at work. <laughs> All right. Hope it goes well. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you, Meredith, for sharing. Um, I think I learned a few things this morning about um, what happens at uh, Children's Haven. So appreciate you guys and what you do and the difference you're making there. Yeah. Um, as for y'all, um, just thank you again for another great week at work. I know that, um, that oftentimes things can just be the same day after day after day, um, but you are making a difference as, as you heard um, with what you're doing. So thank you for that. A couple of dates, um, open house is Saturday this week. Looking forward to that. Um, that's in Colorado Springs. Um, just looking forward to a good day there. We're excited for, for that. Um, then the following week on Thursday, October the 5th is Christmas decorating night. So looking forward to having a good time with getting the stores set up for Christmas and celebrating that, that season. Also wanted to announce this morning that we are planning to have our fall party um, that we have kind of annually. It's become a tradition. That's going to be on Saturday, uh, October the 21st. Um, I don't have a time hammered out yet, but that's going to be at uh, the way Oasis Park Community Center in uh, Canyon City, like it's been the last number of years. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to having some good food and some just relaxing time together um, outside of work and uh, looking forward to a good time. So look for some sign-up sheets. Uh, the managers should be getting those out. We do need to count. Um, how many are coming so that we know how to prepare uh, for food. So um, I think that's all I have this morning. Spent some time together doing some announcements, celebrations, and thank yous. And then um, go have a great day at work and a great weekend. And we'll see you back here next week.